Bonjour everyone, welcome to another Diecast Showcase. So uh, today we're going to be checking out uh, my uh, weekly finds. Um, and um, I've got a little bit of mainline, a little bit of thrift store finds, some uh, vintage castings. And uh, we're also going to be cracking open a uh, Matchbox 5-pack that I've had for a while um, and that I really wanted to get opened as well as um, to start off a uh, quick little uh, find also that I made that I've already uh, opened and that I've uh, detailed up a little bit for future use with another set that I have in the collection. So... We'll start with that basically. So I had picked up um, uh, and showed uh, in a previous video uh, one of the latest uh, Hitch and Toe sets from Greenlight, uh, which uh, had a uh, Dodge pickup and a uh, car hauler trailer uh, under the Ram Charger livery. And I was really looking for something with the Ram Charger livery to put on that trailer. We won't be cracking open the set today, but I'll definitely show you what's going to be going on the trailer. And I found this in a um, uh, recent Hot Wheels 3-pack uh, a few weeks ago. Picked up the 3-pack just for this car because the two others were fantasy castings. But I really wanted the, really wanted this car because I never found it um, in a single. So, here it is. It is the uh, Charger SRT Demon in the Ram Charger's livery. Um... Very nice deco, you know, you got the Hemi uh, lettering also on that big hood scoop. And I went ahead and detailed the front and the rear, so front's pretty straightforward, you know, did the grills, yellow fog lights, and uh, the lights themselves, as well as the air scoop there that you can see. And uh, went ahead and the full back panel, uh, and I went with, uh, you know, because there's different styles that are available on the, char on the Challengers, and I went with the retro style rear end so kind of mimicking the 1970 challenger rear uh rear panel so blacked out uh chrome surround lights with the red insert and i did those uh exhausts as well just the exhaust uh surrounds there uh so it's a really good casting overall it's going to look great on the trailer it's going to be like a kind of like a vintage vintage hauler with a new school uh new school uh vehicle in tow Love the Trap 5s on this thing in, in Chrome. Uh, and this is uh, the third version, second loose that I pick up of this casting. I did pick up the recent blue release of this, and I do have the uh, um, first release in uh, dark metallic red, also loose. And I've had that one loose for a few years now. Well, pretty much since release. So happy to finally find a Ram Charger. Ram Chargers uh, liveried car that I'm going to be able to put on that trailer set. Uh, next, I think we'll check out quickly my uh, few store finds. Only a couple cars, basically. So I wanted to complete my wants in the uh, most recent wave of Matchbox that, as mentioned in my previous videos, is hitting pretty hard in uh, our uh, Dollaramas, our dollar stores up here in Canada. So the three uh, Matchbox that I picked up, first one, I did spot a couple times, but I held back from uh, picking it up, but it's just like too good of a color wave to not pick up. So we're talking about the uh, infamous Rambo Lambo, LM002 Lamborghini. Uh, so definitely a uh, nice color wave in this kind of like matte or satin silver gray. Uh, and this is a casting that Matchbox has done really well uh, with the front tampos uh, and the rear tampos as well, which are exceptionally good with that little license plate and all that good stuff. Uh, black uh, six-spoke off-road six off wheels um, and uh, yeah, that really cool paint color. So this is going to be the only one I have carded as a single. I do have a uh, yellow one loose, part of a, either the Best of Europe or Best of Italy um, series. I'm not exactly sure which one, the Global series from Matchbox. Uh, so that one I cracked open. Since I did already have inside a five-pack uh, a version in black of this with the uh, chrome wheels, which looks really, really good, by the way. So that's the first pickup I made there. Uh, second one, new color variation of the Mark I Golf GTI. 
and it's the first time basically that I actually spot this on the pegs. It's a sought after casting. And I do have a couple variations already of this casting. So the original release in orange, which is loose, and I added some rear details, which are lacking on this uh, on this cast. Um, I do also have the Polizei version and the silver version that would be on those little steelies that Matchbox does so well, which are also the wheels that are on the original release, but in white. So this casting has extremely good front details with the GTI front grille, the euro style lights and it does have a little you know kind of like a little nod to north america with that uh, uh the uh rabbit uh scripture on the front fender uh you know because these were called the uh, volkswagen rabbit in north america so uh definitely very cool green color um it's not exactly metallic from what i can see it's more of a gloss gloss color which fits really well because, I mean, it's pretty period. And I love the fact that that little black pinstripe is there as well on the side. So you got a three tampo pass car here. Excellent front. Very good sides. Just missing the rears, but I mean, it's pretty much the easiest rear end to detail in the world because, you know, two tiny square lights, little V-dub logo on the, on the hatch, and, uh, you know, you can always get creative with the license plate holder, so... You know, and we have the exhaust. It's a single exhaust on the back there. They can you can slightly see right below the bumper. It's also also looks nice once it's in silver. The one that I really wanted from the Wave that I had not found what is this a really really good looking Porsche 911 Carrera, the 992 version. Uh, definitely, definitely a very very nice car. And uh, besides the Hot Wheels uh, 992 GT3, I do not have any other 992s in the collection. So I'm definitely happy to pick this one up, especially that it's not the moving parts, so much cheaper. And I'm more than willing to sacrifice the opening doors. Uh, love the uh, twin ten spoke uh, gold wheels on the red. It looks really good. I mean, we're talking about Christmas colors, eh? Picked up a green matchbox, a red matchbox. And Continuing on in the red drop tops, I did manage to find it at uh, one of the local grocery stores, a single Hot Wheels that I definitely wanted, and it's the fabulous redux of the beautiful first-gen Viper RT10 Roadster. You know, this has been reviewed and reviewed and reviewed, so I won't take up too much time on it. Just a few details that really brought me to pick up this casting front and rear tampo is obviously done uh the proportions are perfect and i mean it's uh matchbox used to have a slight edge on the proportions of the viper cast and hot wheels just blew them out of the water with this one this is really very accurate and i'm pretty sure it's pretty close to 164th scale as well so yeah and the tri spokes work well you know obviously the best wheels for this the hot wheels has ever produced were the tri-spoke wheels on the uh, original releases of this casting from uh, the early 90s early to mid 90s at least the blue card era and the faded blue card era those uh, wheels were literally exactly the same as the first gen three spokes but i'm not going to complain about having advanced style wheels on uh, super advanced uh, style wheels on this it's definitely very cool definitely definitely very cool very nice casting thank lord we have some mirrors and we have those inserts for the huge, huge clamshell roof, uh, roof, sorry, clamshell hood uh, in there as inserts as well from the interior, which is great. So, lone carded Hot Wheels. Now we'll get into some thrift store finds. Uh, just picked up a couple bags uh, that were very specific uh, in, the, in, in their contents. Um, so I have not opened them yet. We'll be opening them together. So kind of like a you know second hand free friday uh so first one i picked up here's your pricing this is canadian dollars and it's tax included since we're talking about a thrift store there's no tax at this one and these are the contents so we've got an old school matchbox and old school hot wheels and an old school majorette all trucks so let's crack her open and we'll uh, take a better detail uh a more detailed uh, look at the condition Take a look also at a quick comparo since we have two vehicles that are very similar from two different uh, manufacturers. I think it's going to be quite fun. So these are all uh, 80s uh, 80s era vehicles. Um, 
at least in their in their copyrights. We'll start with the majorette since it's kind of a, a cool little oddball here, at least I find. Uh, so we are talking about here a Mercedes um, steak bed truck, I guess. We've got, uh, this is all plastic, but it's perfect condition. Got a bunch of what looked like hay bales in the back. And uh, I, I really like the fact that it's not full. Some of them, some of those are missing, so to speak. Maybe, you know, we already done, we already done some deliveries so far. So obviously the red paint is not perfect. Uh, as you can see, there's a few scrapes on the bumper. Big chip missing on the top here. This could be a chip. Yeah, it is a chip, but that's all, not all the way through to the metal. You know, but overall, you know, the glass is pretty clear. Uh, those uh, tri-spoke wheels from early majorettes are definitely present. And this one is a plastic base. Or plastic insert almost as opposed to a plastic base so here you go you've got your majorette mercedes made in france and it's one one hundred uh one one hundred scale so that is pretty cool that is definitely pretty cool definitely out of scale compared to the uh srt but it's not a big deal Next, uh, let's move on to uh, the Matchbox representative I have in this. And I, I love the fact that this is pretty complete. Um, got the good old Peterbilt. Um, what is this, cement mixer? Um, yeah, basically, this is, I mean, this, is, this has been done in, I don't know how many different liveries, how many different... Uh, rear accessories here yeah so you guys you can see this tips as well which is cool uh and uh yeah it's been sold this 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 cast has been used for tractor trailers has been used for specific you know dump trucks uh I believe tow trucks as well box trucks all kinds of stuff so this specific variation is the only uh, complete one i have uh the incomplete ones i mean i sold this part of a vintage lot quite some time ago so glad to have a complete one of these back in the collection so you can see a big peat livery here and uh you can see there's actually a driver in the cabin if you look closely at those yellow windows there's actually a little guy driving the thing so that is pretty cool it's the kind of stuff you used to see in the 80s that you just don't see anymore so we've got the um eight hole um truck style wheels with the uh <clears throat> a little bit of um a little bit of thread on the side of the of the tires here's your base 180th scale 81 copyright made in macau chrome plastic base so that is definitely a cool one let's actually keep it in the forefront here and go ahead and compare it to an older hot wheels black wall version of a very similar type of vehicle so this one here is again a peterbilt but an older model uh, in red as opposed to green, so staying in those Christmas colors, eh, seemingly. Um, black wall, six wheel as the other one, but this one is metal on metal. Here's your base. See, this one has a 79 copyright. And, uh, yeah, again, you got the cement mixer in the back. It's complete. This one, actually, the paint is really, really good. I mean, I'm looking for flaws and chips honestly i cannot locate a single one so this is pretty minty pretty minty and the glass is small enough that uh, there's not a big chance of it getting scuffed or anything besides it being slightly dusty as this is straight out of the bag as you saw I have not cleaned these in any way shape or form and of course you do have the tipping uh cement mixer which normally you will not get on these these will be normally just exempt of whatever accessory was on the back for the most part but either way you have your two peterbilt cement mixer uh cement mixers sorry one from hot wheels one from matchbox relatively same era although this is probably released uh late 80s early 90s as opposed to this one that seems to be pretty early 80s so uh hey let me know in the comments which one you find is the best uh, is the best one 
which one's your favorite out of the out of the two of these? Uh, next, we'll be looking at the other bag of goodies that I find uh, found. Sorry, there's a little bit more pieces in this one, but uh, we're still staying pretty much in the same type of realm here. And here's your price. So less than ten dollars for all these pieces, Canadian taxes included. So current at current exchange, that's under what's well, mid it's what, between six and seven dollars, somewhere around there. USD. So I find it's a pretty good price, honestly. And I guess this will be determining if it was an actual good price, because we'll go ahead and check what is in this bag. So we'll start with a piece that I'm actually not sure if I'm going to keep, although it's pretty cool and it's very, very good condition. Um, so this is a Majorette. It's a little Majorus um, truck. Seems that there was probably a moving part on here, some type of tipper. But all these little trucks, they do have the little inserts here, so you can actually just use them as a as a as a semi basically and just pin a trailer on there so i mean it's it, it the the play value is still there besides the potential missing part um so pretty scarce on details same wheels as uh, we saw in the mercedes but as you can see the paint is pretty much flawless except for a little chip right here uh, just above my thumb so uh, yeah here's your base again 1 100th scale made in France majorette with the plastic insert so you know pretty uh, pretty similar uh, underside uh, to the Mercedes uh, just get these a little bit more compacted here because you're gonna have more stuff to open actually I'm gonna take this put this on the side here put these over here there we go, there we go, and here we go. All right, so we've got four more thrift store finds to go, um, and they're gonna be pretty much shown in pairs here. Turn out to be a best in pairs video besides this, uh, besides this not being a best in pairs video, so. All right, first and foremost, we've got uh, a pair of, I believe this is the Byway Man. Um, I'll show you this one first. So, yeah, this is a byway man, right? So this one would be uh, would previously have had a snow uh, removal um, device on the front, like a snow plow, which is no longer present, unfortunately. Uh, so you got the uh, speedy removal, snow, dirt, and sand, the big, big black wall wheels. Very uh, tarnished metal base with a 79 copyright as well, metal body. Um, this one, unfortunately, is missing the roll bar and the front uh, the front uh, snow plow, but, you know, still a very cool piece. Uh, I like the yellow. It's not, it's not like a bright yellow. It's more like a slightly pastel yellow, but that could just be pink fade. Surprisingly enough, there's no dashboard in this thing. There is a bench seat in orange, but no, no dashboard. Very weird. You wait. So that's the first Byway Man, and second one, which I like even better, despite it being overall in lesser condition. If we're talking about the the base and uh, the tampo work. Got this green version here. I like it better not only because it does retain the roll bar, besides the fact that it's a little bit crooked, there's no front accessory on there, which means it's technically less broken. But uh, yeah, not sure what these tampos were about. Kind of look American aviation derived, maybe, if I were to take a gander, but yeah. Paint is a little bit more worn. It's got a green, kind of like avocado green color. Suits the casting. I, mean, I love the fact these have the tiny little sunroofs on there too. So definitely a cool uh, pair of 
old square body pickups since this is based definitely on the Chevy pickups. And uh, I've got two more actually square body pickups, but uh, from Yatming. And they're two similarly color uh, tampoed vehicles, but with different color waves. And we're talking about the old school Yatmings when Yatming was actually on par with the uh, with the uh, you know Hot Wheels Matchbox and others there. So here's your first one. Look at those big off road wheels. They, they kind of look like the Matchbox design for the center of them. So four wheel drive pickup. You've got the flare side or step side, however you want to call it, uh, for the box. Pretty good condition overall. And uh, these old Yatmings, what I really love as well, is that they are metal base, metal body. So here's your base. Again, pretty tarnished, but we'll try and make out everything. So 4x4 pickup from Yatmings, not a licensed product from by GM. But you still do have the bow tie in the middle here on that chrome grill, which is actually a, a plastic insert in this case, as you can see. Um, yeah, so I really like this uh, pickup. The, the the rear bumper is actually part of the base, so it's metal. Very small, very, you know, meager chance that this will be breaking off or anything like that, which is good. And this one actually does have a dashboard, so. So, number, color wave number one in this one. Number two is pretty much exactly the same truck, but white with the red, black, and blue details. Paints a little bit, uh more worn uh definitely this thing needs a clean for sure but again it's in its juice as they would say in france dans son jus so as found condition and yeah pretty much the same exact thing grill in better condition seemingly pretty much exactly the same thing uh, same base I believe even same model uh same model number eh? yeah 10 uh 1091 Number 1091. So, uh, made in Hong Kong. Very cool. Yep, metal bases. So, pretty happy to add those two to the horde of square bodies. There we go. So, four unlicensed square body trucks, which is kind of cool. Now, last part of this showcase, uh, to finish it off, I'm going to be opening a Matchbox 5-pack as promised. Just put this here. And here is the five pack in question. It's the MBX City Drivers. We've got Alfa Romeo, Infinity, Chevy, Honda, and Matchbox, which would be a fantasy cast, basically. And this is a five pack from, as you can see, 2020. There you go. Here's your licensing info. What they decided was the star of the pack. So another Chevy pickup. Um, yeah, let's get her open. See what we have inside. Well, I can already see what we have inside. I'll show you guys once the tray's out of this uh, five pack. So get this open right away. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right, so here's your selection of five cars. So we have the Alfa Romeo Giulia in this multi-pack exclusive, uh, at the time, silver. Uh, the Infiniti G37 Coupe, uh, which this is actually going to be a duplicate. So this is actually going to go to the uh, for sale or for trade lot. Because uh, I already have this one exactly in this color wave in a multi-pack. Got a uh, lifted Chevy pickup. Not the OBS, but the one right after. So like, you know, when they rounded out the OBS features a little bit. You have a 2016 plus Civic hatchback. Well, 2020, uh, 2016 to 2021, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Maybe 2022. And then you got the little, uh, this is called the cliffhanger, basically. It's a fantasy side-by-side -side type of thing. That one I'm definitely not going to be keeping. I'm going to be starting with this one. So... Not, not, not a cast that I collect. Not something I'm gonna keep. Um, you know, it's, you know, it's a cool little, cool little vehicle, but it's just not something that uh, really, you know, excites me too much. So, 
But yeah, I'll let you take a look at it at least just to see what it looks like. Look at the thickness of that windscreen, eh? That is a thick piece of plastic right there for the glass. It actually deforms, uh, deforms the view. But I do like the fact that you can see the imprints from the wiper blades wiping the windscreen on it. It's kind of a cool touch. So cool little khaki color as well. Um, let's start off checking out uh, the dupe that I have also. So another one I won't be keeping since I do have it in a multi-pack. Uh, the uh, G37 Coupe in red, gloss red, twin 10 spokes. Nice, uh, nice work on the front tampos. Could use a couple of little dark uh, black details on the lower part of the bumper obviously mirrors black interior sunroof and here's your rear again well done tampos dual g37 license plate and uh, you've got the uh, twin exit exhaust uh, twin exhaust uh, protruding from that uh, dark gray base which gives it a nice uh, contrast because it doesn't look black the exhaust so I kind of like that look, so need this piece, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Or uh, hit me up on Instagram, at Sims, S-I-M-Z, says, S-E-Z, all one word. Uh, you can always reach me on there as well and check out more uh, diecast photography and whatnot, so feel free to hit me up on Instagram as well. All right, so very nice piece, very nice piece, and... Uh, all Wheels also made this car, which I have uh, an exemplar of. will be able to compare that on a future video. Uh, next, we'll check out uh, the star of uh, star per the package. Which will be the big uh, Skyjacker uh, parts delivery uh, Chevy flare side uh, crew cab pickup. Uh, as you can see on the side, it would be a 1500, which is a nice touch. The, the, the side details are really well done. The rear is not tampoed in. Got the big, big off-road wheels. These wheels look really good, I find. Kind of like bead locks with the big, uh, big tread off-road tires. And some nice uh, molding details into this front, uh, front clip. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. I like it. We'll put this, this guy here. All right, next we'll check out uh, the, oh, why not, Honda Civic, little Honda Civic hatchback. Uh, okay, cool. So here it is. I was kind of happy when this casting came out because, uh, you know, it's another one of those day-to-day -day cars that, uh, you know, everybody's like, Type R, Type R, Type R, VTEC. Yeah, well, this one is not a Type R, it's a Sport. A Honda license plate on here. Look at those rear tampos, how well they're done. And uh, yeah, so it's a sport. As we can see, we've got the twin exit uh, center exhaust on here. So that would indicate it's got the 1.5 turbo. It's a left-hand drive with a gray interior. Obviously, we've got the mirrors. Uh, front tampos, the lights, the front lights should extend a little bit farther, but I mean, then we'd be talking about a side tampo pass, which this car doesn't have. I mean, from the front, looks pretty darn decent. So I'm not going to complain about that. I did have a, uh, I believe a silver version of this, but I actually gave it to uh, one of my uh, co-workers at the time that had just picked up a Civic like this, so um, a few years ago. So, yep, six-spoke uh, wheels, which look okay on a commuter car, as mentioned before. And in my opinion, the star of the pack definitely definitely would be this beautiful 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 alfa romeo julia i believe this is a sprint gta yeah sprint gta from 1965 so you can see that the copyright on this is 2006 uh, uh far enough in the past that we actually have a 159th scale made in thailand and yeah, it looks really, really good in silver. Uh, lacking, you know, maybe a side pass with a few tiny, tiny details. But I mean, the front end is beautifully done, as is always the case with this casting from Matchbox. And the rear is also very, very well done. 
that uh, single exit exhaust. Um, you know, it's well done. Got a little quadrifolio, Verde. Emblem on the back as well. Well molded seats that are kind of like in a, it, well, the same color as the base, basically. Kind of like that shiny gray. Yeah, steering wheel is nothing to cry home about, though. But I mean, overall, it's a beautiful classic European car from the 60s. Uh, I do have. Uh, do have uh, another ver another loose version in white, but I mean I'm definitely not gonna complain about having a second one of these loose because it is one of the best castings in mainline that Matchbox actually has produced, at least in my opinion. So that'll be pretty much it for the showcase. We'll stop it here since we uh, managed to hit half an hour. Um, so obviously, hope you enjoyed the the showcase with me. Um, if you did, uh, hit that like button, comment your feedback, of course, and uh, um, uh, subscribe if you want to be advised of future uploads on my behalf. Uh, on that, I will wish you an excellent rest of your week or weekend, whichever, whichever uh, applies to when you're watching this video. Best of uh, luck on your hunts. Hope you find what you're looking for, and I will catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.